there! Today I'm going to show you how to make guilt-free cheesecake yet delicious one that you can enjoy throughout your summer season. The ingredients that you're going to need for the crust are 1 cup of graham cracker or crackers of your choice, half a teaspoon of stevia and 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. And the ingredients to make the cheesecakes are 2 packages of cream cheese, 2 eggs, half a cup of Greek yogurt, and 1 fourth cup of stevia. And to make the strawberry compote, you need 2 cups of chopped strawberries, 1 fourth cup of stevia, and a juice of half a lemon and a zest of 1 lemon. Let's start off by making the cheesecake base. Put the graham cracker or crackers of your choice in the food processor or along with the stevia and pulse it until it's smooth. After that, pour in the coconut oil and pulse it until the texture has become the texture of wet sand. Pour the base equally into 12 muffin tins. I put about 3 4 tablespoon in each one. Use back of the glass or anything that's flat to flatten everything out. Set that aside and let's move on to make the cream cheese filling. In a clean bowl, pour in the softened cream cheese and loosen it up a little bit. Now pour in two eggs and whisk to combine. I added in the Greek yogurt as well. Pour in the stevia or you can use any sweetener of your choice or even sugar, it's okay. And with everything to combine and we're ready to bake the cheesecake. Scoop one tablespoon of the batter into each one of the muffin tin. Bake it at 325 for 25 to 30 minutes. Next, let's start making the strawberry compote. In a saucepan, pour in the strawberries and the sugar, in my case, stevia. Add the lemon juice and zest and bring it to a boil. Alrighty, next here I have 1 half teaspoon of cornstarch and 1 half teaspoon of water added in to thicken the compote a little bit. Turn off the heat, pour into a bowl and let it cool completely. After the cheesecake finished baking in the oven, let it cool completely and use a paring knife to run over the edges like so, so nothing sticks. Make sure you grease the muffin tins really really well so that you can eat all 12 of the cheesecake and not left some behind, you know what I mean? Flip them over on a cutting board and serve them on a platter. Before we serve it to our guests, of course we have to decorate it a little bit to make it fancier, right? So scoop one tablespoon of the compote to each one of the mini cheesecakes. And I have mint lift that I'm gonna decorate it with. So just put mint lift on top of each one of them and you're ready to serve them to your guests. This healthy, delicious, and low-fat cream cheese is not gonna make you feel guilty at all. I promise. 